guys, welcome back to Caroline's Closet. I have been sorting through 920 pieces of clothing from Clothes Mender's recent clearance, but I'm taking a mini break from that because I have some, um, what is this, jewelry boxes to go through. And I think I have maybe three blue boxes or two blue boxes left. Maybe just two, I don't know. And then I have this massive box. This was 14.1 pounds of jewelry from shopgoodwill.com. Was an auction, uh, so not as random as Blue Box. I could see pictures of the mass pile. Could kind of pick out a few pieces that looked like they might be worth some decent money. My total cost was about $72. So I think I won the auction for about 60 and then the rest was shipping came from Goodwill in Rockford, Illinois, which I'm also in Illinois, so I didn't have to ship too far. Uh, but my thought was kind of, I didn't want to pay much more than I would pay for the blue boxes, which are $19.99 each plus $7.99 shipping. Um, so $60 essentially for 15 pounds plus shipping. About the same cost, but um, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully I get some better stuff in this one, and I'm just going to tear into it and it will probably be at least a two-part video because this is a lot of jewelry to go through so here we go all right so here is the box the grand opening okay some packing paper will get reused Um, bubbles oh, all the way wrapped around will get reused and the jewelry oh my goodness okay so it wasn't quite the full box but this is what we've got right here and I'm just gonna open the bag and pull out and see how far I can get in about 45 minutes and then I will call this video and start a new one so first let me get my loop handy and my magnet first up is this fun hinge bangle not seeing anything branding or anything on it that'll likely be a bracelet lot this will also go in a bracelet lot just kind of a mesh bangle uh, earrings as always I will set aside until I find some pairs this is a fun rhinestone covered bracelet adjustable length I guess it's long enough it could be an anklet too will likely go in a lot as well now the goodwill shop goodwill site does have some lots listed as branded pieces so it's very likely that i have very few branded pieces because they do go through them this is just a glass bead stretch bracelet. I've got a nice collection of stretch, stretch bracelets right now. This is a pendant of some nature where you can hang a charm or something on it. But no chain. I could either make something out of it or just use it in a craft lot. Okay, this ring, oh, it says, it says Avon inside. Don't know if you can read that, but it says Avon. Just a pretty rhinestone ring. It is magnetic. It'll go in a ring lot, most likely. Um, earrings. Here's another ring. The little white stone. No markings that I can see. 
inside that one. Oops. Trying this from a different angle this time, so scoot these earrings out of the way. We'll catch them on the magnet. This one is not magnetic. I don't think it's gold or anything, but may as well test it out. Set it in a potential test pile. Lots of earrings already. Okay, here we have, there is writing, I think this just says China maybe? I'm going to have to redo my angle, this is not going to work for me I don't think, but there is definitely writing on here. Get my loop. Yeah, it just says China. But it is very pretty. Just a metal bracelet. No other writing that I can see. Probably a bracelet lot for that and a bracelet lot for that. More earrings, so many earrings. Hopefully that will mean a lot of pairs. This is a very stretched out stretch bracelet that no longer stretches. No brandings or anything that I see on that. It'll go immediately to a craft pile. This is a pretty braided metal bracelet. No markings again. Very magnetic bracelet lot. I did bid on a couple of the branded lots, but I lost those. I wasn't going to bid quite as high as what they wanted. Here's another Avon ring. Very pretty. Might be a pinky ring for me. A ring lot, most likely. More earrings. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, hopefully I'll have a lot of earring pairs by the time all is said and done. This is a broken piece of a necklace or bracelet. It does say Leah Sophia on it, but it is just a broken piece. Those will go in craft lots. Another ring. No branding that I can see on this one. We'll go in a ring lot. More earrings, oh boy. My second video might just be entirely earrings at this rate. Or maybe this was the bottom of the bag and they just all fell to the bottom. That's very likely. I can't even tell from this angle really what I'm showing you and what I'm not showing you, so I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep kind of my hands in the general vicinity of where I believe the camera is looking. Okay, so this is just a multi-chain. Short though, choker length, probably like 14 inches. And there is a dangle. but it doesn't have a brand written on it. But that dangle may be associated with something. And this is probably sellable as it is, even for like just 10 bucks. Something that I can list on its own. Here is another one of these things. And I had a very similar thick chain necklace in a different lot. It looks like it's supposed to be like engravable pieces, but it also reminds me of like a dog collar. So there's this piece. It'll probably go in a necklace lot. 
This is a funky vintage metal with little balls, little bells on it, painted green. No branding, but this is definitely a unique piece. I think I could list this one on its own, just on its own unique uniqueness. This is unbranded also. Just little metal discs. Something probably fell, probably an earring. Probably go in a necklace lot. Oops. This is a fun thick chain necklace trying to figure out up oh, it's two there we go so here is the first one it's got this tin disc or tin flat piece no branding just a very thick thick long chain that I don't even know that that necessarily seems to fit on. The color matches. It's the same gold tone. But I don't... I don't know. It seems like too dainty lightweight of a piece to be attached to such a thick chain. But we'll see on that one. This one is unbranded as well. I'm expecting a lot of that. And it's just got a nice little ringlet chain. Let's see. I'm going to make a range. Go down there. Maybe get rid of the packing paper and stuff off the side. Scoot you in a little bit without falling off the edge of my little table. Okay. So there's this piece. I like the looks of it. Uh, because I have so much, I'd probably throw it in a lot. But... Okay. Uh, more earrings. I'm excited for earrings. I hope to have some good ones. I've done pretty well with some random box earrings that I've gotten lately. So be just like one pair in there that's $50 for a tiny little pair of earrings. I'm trying to untangle an earring off of this necklace, but I will hold off on that. I might do some untangling in between video one and two. Okay, this is unmarked. Just a tiny gold bead bracelet very very magnetic so it'll go in a bracelet lot another bracelet for a lot guessing it's not silver but it could potentially nope there's a little bit of a magnetic pull there more bracelet lots coming up they seem to do worse for me than any of my other lots. Earrings. Ooh, this is pretty. It is a, an adjustable bracelet with some really pretty opal. I don't know if that's, I don't think that's fire opal, but. See the colors changing? That's really pretty. And it's got an adjustable, almost like a bolo tie type wrap to it. Let's see. 
the chain. Oh, nope, that's just a little ring ringlet attached to it. These are not magnetic. Oh, these discs are magnetic. So I'm guessing it's not anything special, but I might test that chain for sterling. It was not magnetic, and it has the look, and I really like those beads, so that might be something worthy of selling. Another fun ring, an elastic stretch ring. No branding on this guy, but it's definitely fun. Somebody might want that. Might be an individual seller. The end of the video, I will also give an idea of how much I think I will get for this stuff. These are just fabric wrapped beads with little gold spacer beads. And it's just fabric, you tie the end, ribbon. I like it though. I'm guessing I could probably sell it for 15 bucks. It's unique. I aim for unique. Hey look, I found a pair of earrings. They were right together in this mess. These are just fun little shell, mother of pearl discs on a pretty stretch bracelet. I like those so it might get sold on its own just because I'm partial to it. Um, try to clear some more of these earrings out of my way. Set them off to the side. Set them off to the side. Somebody's honking outside. This is almost like a magnifying glass. Is it? Wow. That's kind of cool. Looks to be a little bit vintage. Giant magnifying glass. Let me see. Yeah, it works pretty well. It is marked, I think it says Avon. I like that. Haven't seen one like that. So this one will probably get sold individually. Maybe just for 10 to $12, but I like it. Somebody will want their magnifying glass around their neck, like a jeweler's loop. This is just an unbranded rhinestone bracelet. That'll go in a bracelet lot. This is a broken necklace. Probably would be easy enough to fix, but it is not branded or anything. So I'll use it as a craft piece. Here is a pendant that I like to just throw on the floor because that's what I do with stuff. Not attached to anything. It'll go in a bracelet or in a craft lot. I'm sorry. Here is a little dainty bracelet. This one is marked SP, which is Avon, I believe. Yes, it's Avon on the other side. Nice little dainty bracelet. Probably in a bracelet lot, but I don't know. I don't have a lot of individual bracelets listed now, so I may change it up and do more individually. This is unbranded. Pretty chain necklace. I like it, but I'll probably end up putting it in a necklace lot. Very pretty though. And looky here, I got another pair. Oops. Oh, it's back to the 
tangle I had before. Here we go. One more. Oh, never mind. One earring and a broken bit of the pair. So those will go in the craft pile. This is cool. It's just green and gold. Little rhinestones around the spacer beads. Stretch bracelet. But it's different. Could probably list it on its own. Any unbranded jewelry that I list on its own is likely under $10 and um, unless it's vintage and semi-precious stones and something really fancy, but likely you can count on me listing it for under $10 and putting it in my 5 for 20 sale on Poshmark. This has writing on one side, which I cannot make out from this position. So I will set this aside and see if I can't figure out the brand on that. Again, I will come back to those at the end. Another random little unbranded bracelet for a bracelet lot. I just know there has to be at least one good thing in here. This is a choker necklace, unbranded, but I'm getting a lot of interest in chokers right now, so it will likely get listed on its own. This is in its own little baggie, inside the big baggie. That is fun. Yellow stones. The brown ones, though, feel a little more plasticky. But then it has the matching earrings also in the bag. And then these little pearls, which I will test and see if they might be real. It feels like a higher quality piece, um, but I don't see any markings on it. So this one I will definitely look into a little more also. This is a fun pendant that's falling apart and missing the strings on one side. Not attached to anything. Might be a cool craft piece. Just a generic unbranded chain. I do like using chains in crafting, so that one will likely go there. I'm finding a bunch of fun earrings that I really hope have the pairs to. This is just a clip-on, vintage clip-on, but I love it. So hopefully I end up finding some pairs by the end of this. This is a small stretch bracelet. I mean, I have a 6.2 inch wrist and it's stretched out on me, so I'm guessing it's probably more for a child. But it's pretty. I do like the blues. I have some jewelry set aside for a child's jewelry lot, so maybe that'll be where those go. Here's a pair of screw, clip, not clip-on, but screw-on earrings. So there's one more pair down. Earrings, so many earrings, so many earrings. A random blue circle, craft lot. Let me try to get some of this big stuff out. 22 minutes already, oh my goodness. This is just a wire necklace with a silver charm. It'll go in a necklace lot. I need to pick up the case or this might be a three or four part video. And I don't really want to do a three or four part video. So, pink and blue. Fun necklace, no markings. That'll go in a necklace lot. Fun silver rectangle necklace. Nice and 
classy piece. It might do well on its own, but I would probably throw it in a lot. Another stretch ring might go up on its own. So many earrings. I'm excited though, because I'm seeing a lot of the screw back and a lot of clip-ons and if they have matches, then I do really, really well with vintage earrings, so. And there are some that I've tossed aside that might be sterling. I don't think I've set any aside that jumped out at me as possibly being gold yet, but it's always a possibility too. This is just a tiny piece of a chain. This is a unbranded green and white bead necklace. It's got a little tangle still in it, but it doesn't appear to be anything special. More earrings. This clipped onto something somehow with those little teeth there. Looks like maybe a belt buckle or something. Not sure, but it'd make a really cool craft piece. It is magnetic. Throw it in the craft pile. Hey, look, I see a brand. What's that say? Is that Chico's? Pretty sure that says Chico's. I'll have to give it a closer look. Oh, wait, here's another tag. Yes. This is definitely Chico's. Chico's jewelry does well for me. So it is just a giant metal circle on a thick, like, liquid metal type chain. I do like these chains. See how they flow like water? This piece will probably sell for me for $15 to $20, so it might be my favorite piece in the bunch so far. you guys, I go into these hoping to make money, of course, but just doing it more to have fun because I hear so many people upset about what they got and complaining that they want to take it to the Better Business Bureau because their Goodwill Blue Box was nothing but junk. But when they advertise it as DIY jewelry or craft jewelry lots, or they're protecting themselves. This is just going in a necklace box. Um, they are not promising you that you're going to get anything good. They are not promising you that anything is, that it's not going to be broken. So you just have to go into it expecting nothing. And then when you get something good, you can get really excited about it. More earrings. I need to just get these out of the way. I think I see a couple pairs in this bunch. So... I will have some pairs to show off eventually. Set these off to the side. And then here is another ring. Just a rose gold color. It's very big. It's probably like a 10 or something. Thin band, even on my thumb, it's pretty huge. But... No markings, so it would probably end up in a ring lot. Fifteen pounds seems like so much, guys. And I am still seeing so many earrings in here. Oh. Well, here's another ring. Nothing special about it. Pretty orange and white floral painted ring. Here's a pretty bracelet. Let's see if I can find any markings. This one also says China on it, I think. Let me take a quick look. Not so quick. Yes, it just says China on it. But it's really pretty bracelet. And just to check, 
The center pieces are magnetic. The actual, oh, well, I guess these circles are not magnetic, but the bars in between are, so I wouldn't guess that there'd be sterling in there, but I do like that one. Looks wise, it looks like something that I could probably make a buck off of, I don't know. Another random bracelet, pretty gold floral laser cut discs. No branding on that one either. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's a bunch of these in here. Yellow hinge bracelet. And then I see a navy blue one. And then a pretty pink one and a lime green one and a teal one. So there are five of these. These I could definitely see from the picture. No branding, but they kind of make their nice own little lot. I think that's all of them. So these I'd probably put them all up together for like 12 to 15 dollars. Not a lot, but it's a quick and easy listing. This is unbranded, but it's fun. I like that. That one I'll debate on whether selling it individually or in a lot. Here's a fun vintage piece, black and gold and white balls. No markings anywhere on this. But I do like that. And it's got tiny golden spacers in between, which sometimes when I find that, those end up being like 10 karat gold. Uh, and you can kind of see some of them are dented a bit, which definitely happens. So I will have to check. It makes it very hard to do an acid test on them when they're that sunk into the design. But I can get one on the ends and see if there might be some actual gold in those little spacers. It does feel like it's a good quality, heavier necklace. So there might be something there. Another little slinky type bracelet. These little silver beads are not magnetic and could potentially be silver. They're with plastic though, so. But it doesn't hurt to test, that's why I got the equipment, so. This is unbranded but very pretty. Probably just necklace lot material. This is fun, if I can get it out. Been eyeballing it in there. Okay, this is cool. It's unbranded as well, but does appear to be vintage-y and has all these little plastic discs. And then some just metal discs. But I really like this, so whether it's anything or not, it'll get sold individually for probably 10 to 12 dollars. I just think that's cool. I've also found watching videos of people that say they're extremely disappointed and didn't get anything good, that there were a lot of things that they got that I would have jumped at and thought they would have made back the money for the box and they just toss them aside as junk. This is a really nice seed bead necklace, multi-strand, and it's an easy $12 to $15 sale, even without branding. 
But anytime you have seed bead stuff with all this intricate, incredible beading, it's not cheap to make these. I mean, even machine made, a lot goes into it. And most of these are often handmade type items. So there is some value there. Plastic beads or not, there's work that goes into making them, so. This has a chain intertwined all the way through that I don't think belongs. So I'm gonna set this with the earrings and detangle before the next video. This is, oh. I thought it had a really interesting clasp, but it just had something interesting wrapped around the clasp. Really, really pretty blue beads. There's the clasp, no markings. But there's a nice shimmer there. This one I think I could probably get 12 to $15 on even without branding. I just like that color. That'd be something that I'd wear myself if it didn't sell. I list stuff even if I like it, but I tend to list stuff that I like a lot higher. And then if I happen to have an occasion to wear it before it sells, then I do. This is a pretty Erica Lyons necklace with a super long sneak chain. Not quite the liquid metal, but kind of. Uh, here's the Erica Lyons tag, E-L. That's a very, very long chain, but I like this, and I'm guessing I could get 15 to 20 on this one also. So between that and the Chico's, uh, those are my two favorites so far. But I am less than halfway through. I'm gonna get this out of the way. This is one of those knuckle rings. I guess it's probably better on these two fingers, maybe. It'll just go in a ring lot, though. It's unbranded. I'm not seeing anything special enough about it. Another stretch bracelet. I'll probably put this one in a stretch bracelet lot. Here's a super pretty brooch, unbranded also, but I do like it, and it definitely has some shine to it, so I'll probably list that on its own. Sorry guys, I'm turning down this heater because it's right on my leg when I'm in this position and burning my leg. Here's another fun metal. I think chains like this are really coming back. They, they were a thing for a while, but this is mesh, very similar to the liquid metal and the sneak chain. No brandings on this one either, but I'd be willing to sell it on its own for 10 bucks at least. Here is a long silver chain. No markings on this one. Hmm. Not magnetic though. It's a nice long, probably at least a 24 inch chain. I will test it. I don't see, see any markings, but worth testing, worth checking. More earrings. I've gotten a couple of these things in boxes and they are magnets in themselves, but I don't know what was, oh, here, this is a magnet, 
I guess maybe it's just the end of a necklace or something. I haven't figured out what those are, but I've gotten a couple of them. More earrings. These are stuck to a magnet for this necklace. Pretty plastic beads with a magnetic clasp. Probably will go in a necklace lot because I'm just not feeling it. And that's how I decide a lot of my stuff too. If I feel like listing it and I feel it's something good, then I list it. If I can't get excited about the piece, then it's a lot harder to sell. So, here is uh, Tangles. Here is Tangles. Okay, so this is branded and to figure out what that is. It is a picture of something. It is just a little bar, silver bar necklace. There it is. And I will have to figure out what that one is. Go in my research pile. Forty minutes, oh no. I'm gonna have to call this one soon and probably turn this into a three-part video. This is Avenue. Which, that's a decent brand. Oh, wait. So, there's two necklaces. This one is the one that says Avenue on it, which I can probably get $12 to $15 for. Super long black bead necklace. And then this one was attached to it, kind of intermingled with it. But this one does not have a brand and it's just black and seed bead. But this one actually seems to be a better quality, so I'll probably sell it on its own also. All right, I will do a few more. And then work on the research for this batch, finish this video and come back for more. Another junky bracelet. Here we go, I wanted to get this one free. These are cool. No brandings, no markings. It's also got the bolo type adjustable tie as the back of it. And there's the full, full thing. Oops. I think this one's unique enough that I could probably sell it on its own also. This is wooden beads and a leather cord with these little tin discs. Definitely vintage-y. Um, but, I mean, the, well, the leather cord's a little worn. The other pieces are just like what you would expect from vintage-y wood beads. It's got this old clasp on it. I don't know. I might consider selling that one as it is. I personally kind of like it, even with the worn leather cord, but... There's a few times I sell things that I can't get into myself, but that's only because I look them up and they're way more valuable than what I would have imagined them to be. I'm gonna take the money over selling something that I'm not, don't find that appealing. This is super blingy. I'm scanning for missing rhinestones, but I'm not really seeing any. But it's also unbranded that I can tell. But it's super blingy, super pretty. 
I'm guessing I could probably get 12 to 15 on that one. Okay. Something that comes out easy. Here we go. Here is another gold chain. No markings. Uh, there's a slight magnetic pull to it. Um, but I do like that thick chain. I'll probably sell it on its own. Here is another stretch bracelet. I feel like I've had this same one several times. Don't know, but it'll probably go in a bracelet lot. Here is another one of these funky pieces. Came off of something. Craft piece. Here's a pretty glass bead bracelet. Probably go in a bracelet lot. Slinky bracelet, bracelet lot, stretch bracelet, bracelet lot, this is old, and unique, it's got like clear plastic beads with gold streaks all over them. No branding on this. But I don't know. I could probably put that in on its own, maybe. Another stretch bracelet for a bracelet lot. Another stretch bracelet. This one has little... I don't know if those are supposed to be really poorly made faux pearls or they are not pearls but those will likely go in bracelet lots. I do check up check over everything again and see if I change my mind on something but this is really pretty It is unbranded, but I like it enough that I think I could convince somebody to buy it from me. Twelve to fifteen dollars. What I might do is wait and do the final video will be a recap of everything instead of doing it after each video. So that I can get this in two videos and then do a recap video. I think that might be my best bet. I really like this. Fun buttons and beads. It is unbranded, but I'm guessing I could get $15 on this. Here is another hinge bracelet. I like the etchings on it. And then this one, just a bangle, fun design on the outside. Bracelet lots for those. And then here's another one similar to like one of the first things I pulled out. And then here are some plastic cabochons. Cab I always said cabochons and I'm, I hear people say cabochons. Is that right? I don't know, but these are just plastic. It'll go in a bracelet lot. Here is a f another fun bangle. Don't think it's anything special. Not magnetic, but I think it's just copper or brass or something. Here's a giant pile of bracelets that I can run through real quick. So, there's this one. Stretch faux pearls, earring, earring, another one of these, this one in black, these are fun 
like pale green, pale peach, pale blue stretch bracelet. My bracelet lots are getting a lot of new fun pieces. This is peeling all over. Red, white, and blue. This one might get listed on its own just to be a nice patriotic piece. Oh yay! Here is the match to this necklace which kind of settles for me that I will list it on its own with its matching bracelet. That adds a little more value to the bunch. Here is another ring. Super giant pearl cluster stretch ring. Another stretch bracelet. Another stretch bracelet. This one's really cool though. This one might go up on its own. Another ginormous stretch ring. Pretty flower. I really like this one, so it'll sell on its own. The fun thing about working for yourself, you can decide what you want, how you want. Pretty stretch bracelet. I'm on a roll, so I'm just doing a couple more, and then this video will be done. Pretty brooch. fun stretch bracelets. These are just tied together so they could be untied and worn on their own. Another stretch bracelet for a bracelet lot. Fun pink beads for a necklace lot. Funky seed bead really odd ring. I don't know about that. Put it on the middle so you can see. I feel like I've got a head of hair on my knuckle or something. I don't... I'm not so sure about that, but somebody will want it. I'm sure somebody will want it. And then this giant rhinestone ring. No markings. Be awesome if that was a real diamond in there. Let's see, does this one fit me anywhere? Go home, tell my husband I upgraded. There we go. Here's the comparison for you. That's got some shine to it, though. I like that. I'm gonna check it out. I know it's not a real diamond, but it's pretty enough and well-made enough that it might have some value. So, another necklace lot. All right, last one for this video. After I pull this earring out of here. Um, and get it untangled. Okay, so it's just this gold chain. Long necklace, but I like it, so it'll probably sell. Once I unkink it, there we go. Up, unkink one and another one kinks up. Maybe, maybe it'll just go in a necklace lot because I don't want to deal with it. But anyway, there you go, guys. That's everything we went through, aside from the few pieces I set aside to research. This is really all that's left. It's not a whole lot, and then a bunch of earrings that I set off to the side and few tangled things to get through. So this is all that's left. This is coming up in the next video, but I'm going to go ahead and post this one. I'll do the next video all the way through with the earring pairs and everything, and then I'll probably, unless I get through that really fast, do a third video uh, with the value of what I expect to make out of this. Ooh, there's some fun stuff to come. So, 
come back for part two as I go through the rest of this. Bye guys.